Hi everyone, so I'm doing a video today on how to cover up acne, small blemishes, everything like that. So if you want to keep on watching how to cover up those annoying blemishes or acne or rosacea that gets in your face, then just keep watching this video. So my skin is really hydrated. I've done my serums, I've done my moisturizers, I've cleansed my face. I've also put like some blemish spot stuff on my pimples so that it has a base for the foundation and everything to go over. First off, I'm going to start with an illuminating primer. Um, this is the Master Prime Illuminating Primer in 20. And the only reason I'm using an illuminating primer is because you still want your face to look really glowy, just fresh and healthy. After that, I'm moving on to my Superstay foundation and this is in the color 21 Nude Beige. I'm just going to shake that one, put a couple pumps onto my hand and I don't want it to be full coverage because I still want it to look half natural so I'm using that master primer again the illuminating stuff and I'm gonna pump a little bit of that into the foundation so that it kind of just like separates it that little bit that's just gonna give you that little bit of a tint to your face and not be so full coverage now I'm just going to blot that around the face okay I'm just gonna go ahead and start buffing that in and don't worry about your pimples showing through we're going to move on to that after, we just need to make sure that the base and that the rest of your face that doesn't have pimples on it is really nice and glowy and like an even colour. Once our foundation is on, I'm going to put a little bit more foundation over the bits, like the acne areas that just need that little bit more coverage. I'm just going to use a beauty blender to push that in. Now I'm just going to go over those little bits of acne and I'm just going to just really lightly tap it and then around the edges, just make sure you blend it out. I'm now going in with the Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to put this mainly on those areas that have the little pimples again. I'm just going to spot the tiniest little bit of it on. Now I'm just going to go in with a small little brush. I'm just going to lightly tap on that area, just kind of push the product down. I'm not going to try and blend it out, I'm just really just focusing on tapping the product into the skin. And then you can use your finger. I'm now using the same concealer just to go underneath my under eyes and finish all of that off, just brighten that whole area. I'm now using my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in Light 01. I feel like it'll look better when your skin is still that little bit dewy. You don't want it to be fully matte or look powdery at all because then it's just going to look way too fake. I'm just going to set all over my face really and um, I'm going to put a little bit more on the acne breakouts. Now I'm going in with the Superstay Powder in Ivory. So I'm only going to be putting this on the pimples that just don't have that enough coverage yet. So it's just going to have a little bit of colour and I'm just going to tap it on and around the area. Now we're going in on highlighter. I'm using two liquid highlighters and I'm mixing them together. These are the Master Strobing Liquids. Um, I have 200 and 100. It's just half-half type of thing. Now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to tap this down the middle of the nose. And I'm going to grab the end of my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend that in. Now over that product, because I love going intense with highlight, I'm using the Master Chrome in 100 Molten Gold and I'm going to just layer this on those areas that I've just done before. Okay, now I'm just going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is my um, acne cover up video done. As you can see, you can still see the little bits, like the little bumps of the pimples, but majority on camera it's like all covered up i'll put the brightness down so you can see you can see a little bit more of like the redness and the little bumps now but um yeah the main thing is you just need to keep your foundation nice and dewy and fresh and only put concealer on the areas that you have the bumps or else it's gonna look like most of a cake on your face and then you just got to spray it and put a lot of highlighter on because then it's just going to make it look nice and just dewy and glowy and fresh. Um, yeah, that's my video done for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and please remember to like and subscribe and to comment. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!